से वर्चुअल लैब इनवर्टिंग एम्पलीफायर जैसे दिस आई एम गूगलिंग एंड वेन आई गेट ए आई आई टी खड़गपुर लिंक हियर आई जस्ट क्लिक इट दिस गिवज मी एन एक्सपेरिमेंट स्टडी ऑफ बेसिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर इनवर्टिंग एंड नॉन इनवर्टिंग एम्पलीफायर सो यू विल यू शुड गो थ्रू दिस वन यूल फाइंड अ थेरी बिहाइंड दिस दैट इज इनवर्टिंग एम्पलीफायर सिमिलरली नॉन इनवर्टिंग एम्पलीफायर सो ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स आर सजेस्टेड टू गो थ्रू दिस theory then see the procedure how to conduct the experiment how it should be connected so it is usually given how to connect the connections and how to select the values so that will see and then the simulation so in the simulation part what do we observe there are two experiments inverting operational amplifier and non inverting amplifier let us see inverting operational amplifier so as i will click this inverting operational amplifier what do we see there is op amp there is register r1 there is register rf and the input voltage ground and that we need to connect here you can see experimental table is there and some controls are there so we need to connect it so what and first we sh you should see the instructions also what are the different instructions given how it has to be connected and like that one so here we'll try to connect with this one first we'll select a resistance value let's say r1 i am selecting as let's say 1 kilo so here you can see the change here it is 1 kilo and register rf i'll choose let's say some let's say 5 or 10 something okay or let us say i'll take a 5 so minus rf upon r1 theoretically it will be minus 5 now input voltage i will have a different range and now i need to connect this one so here this i have connected this rf i have just taken and like that one now r1 i need to connect like this one okay this non inverting terminal i'll just ground it so here just grab it, drag it and input is supposed to be connected to this r1 we see that the total connection is there in order to see whether the connection is okay or not just click check connection so i have clicked it what it is saying right connection set resistance and r r1 and rf values so that we have already selected or even you can vary so r1 it has taken 1 kilo ohm r5 rf 5 and now we'll vary the input voltage and we'll try to get the values of this one so let us say i am just putting from let's say some value and just believe it these voltage uh, as if these are in millivolt because otherwise you will not agree with the voltages that you will get at the output because there may be possibility that you will see a 40 and 45 so that voltage is not able to get it we know it should saturate on that volt so it is given in the millivolt sort of thing so let us start with uh, some value let's say i am plotting minus 10 volt i am taking and just write it add table add to table okay so whether i am getting the output voltage yes 50 i am getting when it is okay so i'll say add to table so what i got i got here value serial number 1 minus 10 as the gain is 5 i am getting it is multiplied by 5 so i am getting 50 millivolt okay similarly i'll select a next input as let's say minus 8 then again what a voltage i am getting 40 40 millivolt second i am getting minus 3.2 this has been inserted into add table similarly you can go for in a change of minus 2 like that one 
then add to table in this way you can go one by one in the steps of that one okay in a steps of two so in this way i can go further and plot accordingly in the same way in the positive side i can take for plus 2 volt so i am getting this value then 4 for 4 millivolt what is the output for 6 millivolt what is the output you can see here i am getting the results and similarly for 8 8 to table and then for let's say 10 so we are varying from minus 10 to 10 so in this way i am getting the table that the output voltage for this input voltage if the input voltage is minus 10 millivolt i am getting 50 millivolt as output okay so you just believe this is in millivolt because 50 volt is not possible so you just think it is in millivolt okay now there is one more option that you can plot this and you can see the linearity of this one so see the plot it is showing the linear as it is negative the slope is a negative one that for this negative voltage i am getting this you can say positive voltage and for this positive voltage i am getting this negative values so minus rf upon r1 in total we are getting as negative and that's why the gain is negative and it is acting as a inverting amplifier so in total it is as if i am getting the um, you can say uh, it is acting as a inverting amplifier where when I give the negative voltage, I am getting the positive. When I give the positive voltage, I am getting the 